Now, if you are like me, you didn't become a sleep consultant to spend hours on figuring out how to create an online course, right? You became a sleep consultant to help families and make money. But this time consuming, energy draining task of building your own online course is a great way for you to be able to connect with more potential clients. So that's exactly why I created this course, to help you get your own online course up and running as soon as possible. And to set yourself up for success, here are my best three tips. Tip number one, complete before proceed. The only thing you need to do is to finish all previous steps before proceeding with the next. These are the exact same steps I follow when I'm working with my one-on-one -on -one clients. I know you're excited to get things done, but please don't move to the next lesson until you've completed the required action steps of the lesson that you're working on. Which brings me to my second tip, tip two, and that is keep moving. Yes, I want you to complete the lesson before you move on, but don't get stuck in the trap of perfectionism. I see this a lot with sleep consultants. They waste a lot of time trying to perfect everything. You know, you can spend hours or days on one lesson. The thing is, it will never be 100% perfect and you end up in a never ending race where the finish line keeps moving further and further and further away. So instead of perfection, strive for progress. And then tip number three, do you. When I started my entrepreneurial journey, like a decade ago, I received a ton of advice, much of it unsolicited. What I learned along the way is to value all these different perspectives, but ultimately I had to decide what's best for me. This is my business. Nobody else fully understands your life goals, your experiences like you do. So no one else fully knows what you want to do with your life. No one else has the context you do. Don't get caught up playing someone else's game. Play your own game. Choose what feels aligned to you, because in the end, it's your business and I want you to be proud of it. So do you.